Thank you for coming back to another Anime and Beyond review. Today we're going to re uh, review episode 7 of One Punch Man. Uh, with that said, we're going to get to it. Saitama versus Suryu. What were your thoughts about the fight? Um, I thought that it was the way that it was going to go. And I mean, it's kind of yeah. One Punch Man, you know, it kind of entitles that, you know, Saitama's going to win. Mm -hmm. But with that said, I thought that uh, Suryu, sort of like how Genos and Gatos are, you know, they're kind of up there and as far as strength wise, mm -hmm. I felt like they put up a decent fight as far as who they are, like um, the fighters they are. Um, so do you, I mean, we see that he's pretty fast, yeah. pretty strong, oh yeah, and um, also he, pretty prideful. Yeah, and he looked really intimidating in that one scene where he was ready to counter Saitama and then just jump back. Yeah. That was, that was pretty, that was a pretty good scene. He yeah. looked pretty evil though, yeah. there too. I thought it was hilarious. I was watching it on my lunch break and I was laughing I was laughing a lot. It was, <laughs> the, the, the part where he gets kicked aside and just like slides on the ground all the way to the end. Right. Just it, takes it. Yeah, he's, he's taking all the beatings. His pants fall down at the end of the fight. He's protecting his hair the whole time. And it's just like, oh, he's like thinking, oh, that's close. Yeah. And the guy's like, yes, I got him. But he's like, oh, my hair almost came off. His character doesn't seem like he would be the type to take pain well at all. Like he seems like the type of person just like going strictly off his facial expression uh -huh. and just like his figure. Like yeah. He does not look like the guy that would be able to, he feel like he would get knocked out in one kick. The announcer said, look how nervous he is. He's got that <laughs> dumb look on his yeah. face. And it's like, Tom was like, this is how I always look. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? That was, that was funny. There, there was some, definitely some funny scenes about this, this whole show. So Tomo was really trying to protect his identity of uh, disguising himself as church. Chicago. Right? Chicago. Chicago. Um, and we see him by, we see him protecting, trying to protect his wig that he's wearing. And you see that when Suturi, Suri, Suryu, ah, can't, uh, starts attacking him, mm -hmm. the wind, you know, starts knocking it off. And he, he's like quickly, he's <laughs> more worried about it flying off than yeah. Suri. So I just thought that was interesting. And then like towards the end, you see that it actually flies off yeah. when it, when, um, when, he starts getting kind of serious, the Tama. Yeah. Um, then he gets disqualified, so. It was, just, yeah, it was also funny because the announcers are saying, and everybody's thinking that he has his hands on his head to uh, to protect himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what he was protecting his identity. Uh, right. Some really good defense mechanisms. There you go. Yeah. Both Saitama and Suryu have similar goals. The same goal for money, that's why they, want to, that's why they entered the competition, but Saitama entered it to experience martial arts and Suryu entered it because he was hoping to fight that wolf guy in the wolfman costume last time which is Garu yeah but he, he wanted to have fun that's all he really wants yeah. he, he wants he just he wants he likes fighting strong people mm -hmm. but I mean he's also like like we were discussing he's also a prideful guy yeah so he he likes to even though he likes to fight strong people he identifies himself as the strongest yeah. because he thinks he can take on anybody and you know yeah and he said it's no fun to lose it's yeah. you're not having fun when you're losing yeah Saitama came to this tournament because he wanted to experience martial arts but he's been one punching people so quickly because either they've been annoying to him or they bored him or for whatever reason so he hasn't even really experienced martial arts except for this this whole scene right here and what might have been the funniest thing to me is when he's he's like, I finally understand martial, martial arts. arts. <laughs> it's just cool moves. He's, and then he starts spinning around and we're like, I want to do that. I should do that. Kill, and then, kill and then the series starts getting salty and he's like, yeah. don't you mock me. And then you kind of see the the, the, the ties change because like, so uh, that's how everyone was. That's how Suri treated everyone else. Yeah. And now Satama's treating him like that and he doesn't like that. And he's getting a taste of his own medicine, so. Yeah, and Saitama's not doing it on purpose. He's yeah. just like, oh, that was a really cool move. Exactly. That looked cool. But Sudi, yeah, Sudiu would <coughs> mock other people for being heroes and saying, just calling them out as weak. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Saitama, with just the way he's taking the punches and the hit and the kicks, is calling Sudiu out as weak because yeah. it's not even affecting him. Exactly. Sudiu mentioned something really interesting. He's going over all these, like, ideals that heroes have or you know their goals that they they're they're going after and he's mentioning how those aren't 
fun, those aren't something that he seeks in a fun life. And that's one of the reasons why he doesn't want to be a hero. And he's calling all these other heroes weak. And it really, it really ticked off Saitama. He did not like that because he's saying they're only heroes in name and they're not actually, you know, heroes in their actions. Studio thinks it's fun to be strong and to, to win, but he's the heroes he's come up against. He's beat them both the two heroes in the tournament, and so he he sees them as it's just a boring thing to do. Yeah, uh, Saitama and Suryu acknowledges in a sense uh, Saitama as a strong foe mm -hmm. for getting to the finals I mean he's assuming because uh, Suryu beat all his opponents in like one hit yeah. and so does Saitama and so he notices that Saitama is one of the stronger people Suryu says that being a hero isn't a job for a quality fighter mm -hmm. and we see that Suryu is acknowledging him as a strong a strong foe a strong hero um, and Suri said something kind of interesting, but what from what we what we understand it is like he kind of has his mindset where um, heroes to him seem kind of watered down. The word hero, kind of like how a lot of people say the word love. You know, I love his water bottle, or I love my family member. You know, it's like how can you equate the two? They don't compare, and so his idea of a hero is we think that it might be just watered down. But yeah, because Studio only acknowledges strong, the strong. And when he mentioned it last week, we see Saitama, Garu, and Tornado all lined up next to each other when he's talking about we as the strong people. And every time he's fought people who claim to be heroes, they've shown up as being weak. Mm -hmm. Except like except for Saitama. Yeah. The title of this episode is the class something to do with the class S heroes, and we saw them come out strong. What did you think about the fights? I liked. That sword guy, I don't remember his name, but he looked kind of majestic. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah. he, he, um, he looked like, he, I mean, he was doing work. He was clean, like, man. Yeah, that octopus with uh, all those eyes. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was doing clean. I mean, he was doing quick work, and I thought he was just going to um, just make quick work of him. Yeah. And then he says, okay, I got to use my special attack. And all of a sudden... Um, Tornado. tornado. Yeah, yeah, tornado comes and then just folds this guy. Yes. And then just drops. Like almost like she had the mic and she just dropped it. That Seriously, like, that's yeah. I honestly thought you were gonna say the pig guy. I thought you liked the way he <laughs> ate that nah, snake lady. I can't believe that. Nah, yeah. That robot guy, that metal whatever, I always forget his name. Dude, the way he came in and just like cut up those guys real quick and then was like, you have two options. You can die slowly or you can die quickly and tell me, you know, the answers that I want. Mm -hmm. Those are it was pretty cool, and it was also it was also cool to see how when the heroes came in, it reminded me of like when All Might comes in, and everybody's like, "Oh, it's okay now." And the Hero Association was like, "Don't worry, the Class S heroes are here." But we've seen the difference between class levels. You know, the gap from C to B, B to A, and then A to S. We haven't really seen the gap in the S class itself yeah. until this. Yeah. episode um yeah when you see tornado versus that sorg dude mm -hmm. i mean you can tell that the biggest i mean it's like whew. yeah but i mean then again i mean we know that satama is what class what he's i think he's he might be class a now by now yeah so i mean if you rate it by that standards like just by class i would say that i mean it's kind of it's kind of yeah distorted yeah but I get what you're saying. And King was class ass. Yeah, you know, it's like, you know, but... Um, the, but the guy you like, that sword guy, he came in telling all those other guys that they're in insignificant, yeah. that they, they, he doesn't need their help. Mm -hmm. And Tornado comes in and pretty much tells him the same thing. Yeah. And So, yeah, there, it, there does seem to be some sort of, like, pecking order as far as, like, you know, who the strong is and then who's mm -hmm. stronger and all that. And we're kind of seeing Tornado, how she's treating that other hero and how that hero treated the other class A heroes. The same way, like Devin mentioned earlier, how Saitama was, he wasn't doing it on purposefully, but treating Suryu and then how Suryu treated the other. Yeah. So towards the middle of the episode, we see the swordsman in a meeting talking about how they want to kill Garu, but they mentioned how Silver Fang wanted to, was gonna be with, get Garu first. Mm -hmm. But they said that, um, that Garu had a chance to beat him. And so they, they were, planning to go get Garo first um, and then you see this other swordsman or the the monster uh, guy who who's talking about um, 
he had a monster cell in his hands and so he um gives gives them a, uh, basically a ultimatum and says yeah. you know eat this or die mm -hmm. um and you have three seconds to eat it and they obviously just stare at him and like like savages they just stare mm -hmm. at him and he makes a move and the dude dies it's, it's like a reverse yeah now to me that scene was it was sick because it's like he does all this like, stuff like he's he killed everybody and then he's the one that gets cut down i was like bro and then that monster cell was supposed to make him stronger than a human yeah so quicker than a human yeah like more 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 stronger than a human and before he even could make like he made like one slice and then the other hero cut him up like you see all these lines all across yeah and he just like he turns into like the scene from infinity war Dude, it was like Beerus Hakkaid him. It was like, like he just, it looked like he disintegrated. Yeah. So I just thought that scene was, was dope. That was That's good. like right when that happened. You know, he's probably thinking in his head, and this is, this is where so and so really messed up. Or yeah. <laughs> like, dee, 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 dee. <laughs> uh, we see a guy from the Monster Association uh, towards the the beginning, middle, and end of the episode, uh, named Goketsu, uh, who seems to be. The, probably the new threat coming to uh, mm -hmm. One Punch. Um, we already saw a slight glimpse of uh, one of them. I, I think that was Go Goketsu, the I, one that, that showed last up. Week. The one that showed up to with uh, Genos. Yeah, we didn't see him actually hit him, but he yeah. took out Genos. Quickly. Yeah, and he said and he said that I was defeated. Like Genos yeah. admitted defeat. So, I mean, he seems like a formidable opponent. Uh, kind of reminds me of. For some reason, he kind of reminds me of. Um, Bro, Bro, Bronos? Bro, Boris, Bronos, Bo whatever. Boris, yeah. yeah. The alien from season one. Yeah, yeah. so I'm, interest I'm interested to see what's going to unfold with there, mm -hmm. with the Satama, how he's going to go about that, and yeah. just Genos and his whole whole squad. Saitama, Sa he might not be there by the time that guy gets to the, the tournament because he ran away pulling up his pants because yeah, he lost true. his yeah. belt. <laughs> so Sudiu might decide to, to fight him. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, he might be a little uh, held back because of that. Yeah, probably back on the can. That's yeah. what he's been like all the last yeah. couple of episodes. <laughs> Just keeps going to the toilet. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts, your theories, um, how you liked the episode. Um, with that said, I'm Devin. I'm Noah. And we'll see you next time. Peace.